Uh, Cache Canaries was a project that uh, Emergent asked me to do, uh, and the idea was essentially to make a smart contract version of the canary in the coal mine, so that in case bad things happen, it would trigger and people could see it, but you would still kind of have like um, legal protection, like I did nothing, it just happened on its own. It just you know, If someone kidnaps me and I don't update it regularly, it kind of goes, but um, interesting project, uh, not enough time spent on actually making any practical solution out of it yet. Yeah, so for people who don't know, it sounds like it's similar to this idea of warrant canaries, right? So there's, I don't know all the details of this, but there's essentially laws in place and there's a very famous litigation and stuff around the fact that if you are somebody who might be compromised by pressure from government agencies so let's say you were someone like julian assange or something you were leaking these uh documents if the government comes to you and says you need to stop doing this or they put some pressure on you or whatever you can't after that point publish and say the government have come to me well i guess you could but you would be putting yourself at a lot of risk right it would be a you know very risky thing to do in that scenario and there might be legal repercussions there might be other extra legal repercussions right but there was these uh, cases i'm pr probably in the us i believe which found that although you aren't in a position to do that what you can do is you can start uh, what's called a warrant canary so let's say i have on my website i could have one myself i've even considered it actually on bitcoincashpodcast.com i could have a site called you know slash canary and people could go on there and it could have a message saying i have not been you know compromised by the feds right and then the thing is if then the feds did come and compromise me what i would do is i would take that page down and that's that's not doing anything. That's not saying that I have been compromised by the feds, but by sort of killing the canary as it was, that's a signal to everybody to know, <laughs> okay, right. uh, he can't tell us anymore because of... Uh, there's, those, uh, th there's two very clear problems with that solution. One is that it requires an actual action on your behalf, which means that the government can then look at what you did and say that it doesn't matter if you... You know, if you have the legal paper thingy pointed in the right direction, uh, we believe you acted it ill intent and we're going to do something. Uh, the other part about it is that for someone who looks at that page, if the government compromises your website, they can host that page for you, right? And so, as a user, you can't really trust it because the system itself is compromisable in a way that's not really good.